For many young St. Lucians, access to higher education remains a dream beyond their reach as a result of several factors, mainly the high cost and difficulty in funding university offerings. It is for this reason government mandated a program that would assist young St. Lucians financially to achieve their dreams and that of their families in pursuing studies that will definitely change their lives. For Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, the First Generation Scholarship Initiative erases all the financial headaches of the 50 recipients, stating that the achievement of the program is a promise made that has been kept by his administration. And I really hope when I depart that scene, no one ever decides that they will change the theory or the philosophy of having one university graduate per household. Because you have first generation Scottish holders means that most of you, you're the first person in your entire family, in your entire generation to go to university. Who will attend university? I just think the emotion has struck you. The 50 recipients will each receive full tuition for a bachelor's degree in various areas with cost met jointly by the government of St. Lucia and Monroe College. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward says this program tells students who perform well and do not have the means to undertake university education that they are indeed worthy of such self-advancement. We will travel the globe in pursuit of scholarship opportunities and higher education opportunities for our citizens. The government, I can assure you, we will do our part, but you have a responsibility. As we speak today, those of you who have been chosen, who have been selected, you have been granted full scholarships. Unlike some of your counterparts and your compatriots who are at the University of the West Indies and elsewhere, they had to go to the banks. President of Monroe College, Mark Jerome, says participating in the initiative means a lot to Monroe College in helping correct a long-standing problem in St. Lucia. He says one of the most important things a government can do is to invest in its people. Ninety years ago, my great-aunt and grandfather founded Monroe College with a vision to educate first-generation students so they and their families and their communities can move forward. It's such an honor for me to be here today, 90 years later, 15 years into our tenure in St. Lucia, to be carrying out that same mission with the partnership with the government of St. Lucia. The first cohort of students under the program are expected to excel at their chosen fields of study and will have to maintain their grades in order to assure continuity of the full scholarship. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.